The newest update in Lightroom on your desktop has me seriously considering ending my relationship with Lightroom Classic. But why? It has everything to do with my workflow. You see, I've developed a very smooth workflow between Lightroom Classic and Photoshop. But then a few years back, I started using Lightroom on my phone and my iPad kind of routinely. And now it's, it's my go-to app for edits on the go. All my iPhone stuff is done in Lightroom. While Lightroom Classic can technically be synced to my iPhone, just like Lightroom on the desktop, it's always been a bit clunky. I've had to start and stop syncs many times, and I just found it irritating. So I've been using Lightroom, not Lightroom Classic, for all of my mobile photo work, and I've been using Lightroom Classic for all of my images taken with my big girl camera. Now, this workflow works, but it's not the best two big things that Lightroom on the desktop was missing were easy flow between Lightroom and Photoshop and plugin support. And now that it has both, I may have to reconsider Lightroom Classic because let's face it, if you're new to photo editing or photo management, which a lot of my students are, Lightroom Classic is extremely difficult to learn and it can be utterly frustrating if you're accustomed to moving stuff around on your desktop or you know just messing around in your own personal filing system on your computer, Lightroom Classic punishes you for that. So Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile will not make you feel bad if you start moving things around on your desktop because it is simply a browser. All right, so let's see this in action. Let me get this out of the way so we've got a little bit more real estate. I want to take the waves from this photo right here because I love the light that is happening right here on his legs and the waves right after the sun came up, but his face is very dark and there's no catch light. However, if I look at this image that was just taken a half a second later, he turned his head. And so he's got some nice light on the beak and in the eye here. So I actually want to take pieces of one photo and combine them with the other to make what in my mind would be the perfect image. Now, previously I would have had to right click, say edit in Photoshop, and I would have to do this one at a time. Now, however, I can select one and hold the command or control key and select the other right click on one of them and say edit in photoshop and now i have the option to open as layers in photoshop you can also open as a smart object in photoshop but we're not going to talk about that today we're going to do layers all right okay so here we are now i've got this image on top of that image and now i can make the changes that i want to make now this is not a photoshop class so i'm just going to show you the final result perhaps some other time i will walk you through it but it's a lot easier than you might think okay the second thing that i that was kind of holding me back from just completely abandoning lightroom classic was plugin support i use plugins all the time i use nick software all the time topaz big fan and now let's take this raw photo here. I'm going to right click and say edit in. Now Nick Color Effects is listed here because I have launched it once already, but say that you haven't, let's browse. And it's gonna to go to your applications folder. And so I'm gonna go into the Nick Collection 7. Let's do Silver Effects this time and open it. Now follow the directions, <laughs> this is important. So I'm gonna open Nick Silver Effects. You need to save it. And I'm also gonna show you one thing that you absolutely have to click if you want to reopen this program again to make changes further down the line. Don't click finish yet, just leave that open. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that this box down here, non-destructive edits for larger files is clicked. And I'm just going to go over expose, just put a preset on here so you can see that there's all sorts of changes to these sliders and I'm just going to click apply. Okay, now I'm going to click finish. Took a few seconds, but there it is. Now, if I right click and I say edit in, now I've got two options. Now I've got color effects and silver effects. So let's bring this back into silver effects again. And I do want to show you that those changes that I made are still there and you can change the sliders again. So there they are. All the changes that we made before 
are there. So let's make some further drastic changes while we're in here. Make sure that that uh, little box down there is clicked on and click apply. And then finish. Now we should have two versions, a very bright one and a very dark one. And there they are. Put it a little further away, but there it is. For me, that is just a super easy plugin workflow. Now, personally, I want to use the best available software that will make my overall workflow easier and more efficient. Why waste time? Seriously. Having all of my mobile work and all of my images from my big girl camera in one place with all the tools that I will typically need, it's just plain old better for me. Now, there are still some things within this program that do not exist that you will have access to in Lightroom Classic that may keep you from making the switch. I'm not telling you to make the switch. I'm just saying, hey, maybe this might be easier, especially for new people. But if you are curious about what you might lose if you decide to make the switch, I do have a video on that exact topic right here. Now it's a little bit dated. It's about six or eight months old. So it's not going to have the latest information here about Photoshop and the plugins, but it's got everything else. And of course, if you're interested in learning about uh, the Nick software, I have multiple videos on how to use silver effects and color effects. And I hope you find those videos super helpful. You guys have a great day.